Alright, I'm going to start out by saying that I am definitely not a plumber. Um, but because the ruptured pipe in my house was so deep under my crawl space and the crawl space has so little clearance, around three feet or so, um, the plumber said that we would have to spend um, likely around thousands of dollars to cut a hole either in our floor or into the brick on the side of our house so that he could then have access um, to do his job. So I knew we were talking thousands of dollars, so I um, went online and tried to search for um, a cheaper option that I would be capable of, capable of doing with little um, to no plumbing knowledge or soldering ability. And the solution that I found was um, these things called Shark Bite connectors. Shark Bite is just the name brand. I think there are other brands that have similar names. Um, but what it enables you to do is cover a length of pipe. Um, in this case two inches with one fitting without soldering and the beauty of this particular type of fitting which they call a slip coupler or slip coupling is that it enables you to cut out the two inch segment of pipe that has failed on you and then with the two ends of the pipe you're able to slightly pull one out of alignment so that you can push one end of this slide coupler arm, the slip end, past the point of where you want to ultimately set it so that you then have room to pull it back out and connect it to the next pipe, or the next segment of good pipe. And you're able to do that with this little orange tool that comes with the slip coupling so you don't need to go um, find this, it comes in the package. Um, but this is what enables you to pull it along the pipe to connect it with the other side of good pipe. Uh, I'll show you how I do that um, and it will make more sense when I uh, do the demo. The other thing you'll need before you enter your crawl space or wherever the ruptured pipe is, is a pipe cutter. I think I got this for 10 or $12 from Lowe's. You'll need a tape measure to make sure that you have a two inch segment cut out. If you don't like in my case, um, or you have more than two inches that you need to um, cover, you'll also need a segment of pipe. This is optional. If you're only dealing with two inches, you don't have to deal with, or you don't have to use that. And if you do need that, you'll also need another shark bite connector, um, but not one that has the slip end. Um, it will look more like a traditional coupler and it will be shorter. But I'll show that in the video later. Or actually, I'll, I'll drop in a picture of it now because the only one I purchased is now on the pipe. Um, the other thing you'll need is a marker to mark an inch down the pipe and that is how far you want to seat your uh, shark bite connector in the half inch bridle. And then you'll also need a deburr tool. This is a significantly overpriced version of a deburr tool but it gives you a little um, added bonus in that it automatically measures the inch depth for you because this is your Shark Bite, band, uh, Shark Bite brand deburr tool. And all you need to do, I'll show you again um, in the future bit, uh, part of the video, is you just slide it onto the pipe, rotate once you make contact with this little blade here, and then also make your mark simultaneously where that orange segment stops and then you have your measuring measurement correct uh, if you don't have this or you have another deburring tool you can just use that and then again just resort to your uh, tape measure so your choice there all right here's how um, you do this um, you'll get more real world experience when I show the footage of me doing it at the end um, but basically you're going to have your, let's get this over here, pipe failure right here or wherever it is in your length of pipe. And then you're going to make cuts on either side to total a two inch spread between the two spaces. 
Um, for the sake of me just cutting one pipe, we'll assume that I'm making the cut on either side, but I'm just going to do it on one segment of the pipe to show you how to do that. For this particular cutter, you'll see there's a bed of two little bearings down here. I think you can see that, yeah. And then you have the actual cutting mechanism here. And what you need to do is seat that pipe, or you, sorry, you unscrew this to uh, make room for your pipe. And I'm trying to do this, I, you can, I could obviously have slid this down here, but if you're dealing in the real world, you're going to have to come in through here. So you're going to actually have to buy yourself a little more space. And you're going to slide it in so that it sits between those two bearings. I don't know if you can see that. It's too sharp of an angle. But it's seating in those two um, bearings. I call that out because it's very easy to bypass that, to go past that and you'll still be able to turn this, but you'll actually be damaging the pipe. So you want to sit it in those two bearings and then tighten this by screwing it right until you get good contact between that cutting mechanism and your pipe. And then you're going to want to spin repeatedly. And I think down there it was way way more difficult than it is here to do but basically you spin it until you kind of slightly start feeling a slight give because you've cut it away enough material that you need to tighten this screw more and then you keep spinning until you feel that sensation again it will just you'll see what I'm saying when you actually do it you'll just it will just be slightly easier to turn it than it was the last few rotations screw it more and you may need to do it three or four times to cut through your segment of pipe. There's the sensation. And there we go. And let me unscrew this. And there's just a tiny pit piece still holding it on and because we did that you see all the shininess that shininess is sharp so because it's sharp and because our shark bite connectors hold their uh, seal with a slight o-ring you got to make sure that you clean off that sharpness with a deburring tool so again you can use your own deburring tool or you can use the one that SharkBite makes. You find the slot of your diameter pipe. In my case I have a half inch and like I said you slide it all the way in as far as you can and then there's this little circular piece of metal here that makes contact with the bottom of that pipe and as you spin it's just deburring or grinding away those sharp spots. So now you have a safe, safer home for your um, shark bite connector to, to go onto. Like I said, I'm just going to make that singular cut um, to be a representat representative of the other cut you'll make on the other side of the pipe so that you have a two inch gap between your two pipes. And now this pipe is running into something over there, so let me move that. Now. Once we've deburred our pipe, we want to slide our tool until it sits firmly against the end of the pipe and we make a line here. That will give us a one inch length, which you again can do with your tape measure. You're going to want to check every uh, diameter pipe that you may be dealing with has a little different um, depth that they want you to go, but it's found on the back here. And you're going to make this mark on both sides of your pipe. So, again, this one's kind of hard to maneuver over here. But that way we know where we want the ends of this coupler to ultimately end up. So, let me close that up and get this out of the way. Now, what we do is 
get our slip coupler and we find the slip end which will be marked in raised uh, metal here and we can go to either side of the pipe we'd like in this case I'm going to go here and we're going to slide this coupler onto the pipe and that's very difficult at the angle I'm at and also I've used this prior previously sorry so it's got way more friction than a brand new one will um, have when you're using it and you slide that in deeply enough so that the two inch gap is cleared and you have enough room to then pull it to meet your next piece of pipe. Now in order to do that, and this is going to be hard to do without pipes fixed in the wall like they are when you're down there, is you're going to slide this orange piece here and you're going to push your fitting down the pipe. Really hard to do with one hand. You're going to need two hands and you slide this down the pipe until you hit your mark which is right there and I will actually bypass it here again I've already used this slip connector so it's way harder to do than it was the first time um, I did it just as a test before I got down to my crawl space that maneuver is going to be way easier then on this side I'm not going to actually uh, right, uh, or I'm not going to actually apply this because then I'll have to cut it off this pipe because this part doesn't have uh, the slide ability is this will have already been pushed in up until this line which will match this mark here once you have that done you'll have to likely if you're in a crawl space have someone else in the family or in the house turn on your water so that you can make sure that you don't have any leaks along your fix. So that's how you do it in um, open space here. I'm going to show you how I did it in the crawl space uh, kind of on a sped up version of the uh, sped up video so that you can get a feel for uh, maybe the, the uh, discomfort that you may face to save some money.